The CDC sounding the alarm about the mosquito-borne Zika virus. Health officials now confirming that Zika is linked to birth defects in unborn babies. Dr. Mark Siegel is a member of former of the Fox News Medical A team and a professor of medicine at NYU Langone Medical Center. He's not former anything. He's <laughs> everything. Um, Doctor, good to see you. This Great morning. to see you. Um, so they, they've definitively discovered that this is linked to these birth defects. So I would take out the word linked now, Martha, and use the word proof. Okay. It's like Sherlock Holmes looking to solve a crime. There's enough clues now, and they're using something in the New England Journal of Medicine this week. Big groundbreaking headline. They found that it fulfills Shepard's criteria. Criteria for proof that the Zika virus is causing these birth defects, causing microcephaly, causing other brain abnormalities in fetuses, causing stillbirths, causing miscarriages, leading to eye problems. It's a sleeper, this virus, because in 80% of people, you don't even get sick from it. 20% mild flu symptoms. The problem is that it gets across the placenta and it affects the developing fetus. It's a big issue because of that. How do we stop it and how do we stop it from coming here? Well, Dr. Fauci told me when I interviewed him that the key is mos mosquito control. Brazil had it stamped down, but then it let the mosquitoes get out of control. The focus has to be on larvicide, insecticide, mosquito prevention. I was telling you before we came on here, these particular mosquitoes, the 80s Egypti mosquito, reproduces on water the amount on a bottle cap. It doesn't need a swamp. So it's very hard to get the mosquitoes under control, but that's what has to happen. You're not going to get this from casual contact. There's some, also some evidence that there's an increased risk of sexual so contact. So a mosquito bites a person who has it, right, and then infects another person? They're carrying. Exactly right. And, and, and once that continues to happen, you get sustained spread. So if you get it into your local mosquito population, right. that's when you have a problem. That hasn't happened yet in Florida. It hasn't happened yet in Tex Texas. It has happened in Puerto Rico. It's going to be a huge problem in Puerto Rico this summer. And I'm predicting CDC will say, watch out travelers to Puerto Rico. If it, if it takes hold here in our southern states, we're going to have a huge problem here. It hasn't happened with related viruses. Right. Real quickly before, before we go, what, what, what does the money go to? What are they trying to figure out with, with $1.9 billion potentially? Well, look, okay, right, well, first of all, they already have $500 million, uh, 500, uh, million uh, because of Ebola. Right. But now with this, they want to get $1.9 billion. We'll go to vaccine development. We're about two years away. And the exact kind of mosquito control we were talking about. Mosquito control and vaccine. Those are the two biggies. All right. Doctor, good to have you here. Great we'll to be see watching you. It. Thank you.